Hey, this is Jason Burns. I am here with Matthew Postlewaite to discuss his latest film, The Great Artist. Matthew, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Jason. I really appreciate it. You know, I'd love to start with a sort of inside the actor's studio question, which is playing off the title of the movie. What right. makes an artist great? What makes an artist great? Um, <clears throat> dedication, work ethic. Uh, what makes an artist great? I think it's just this this knowing, I think it comes from a place from within. Actually, I don't know what it, what makes an artist great. Like, <laughs> it's just an open question, but um, um, yeah, something natural they have to have, something mm -hmm. natural. And they gotta be able to tap into that, right? They have to tap into it. And that that's the difficulty. And that's what I talk about a lot with other actors. We can kind of get into places all the time when we're with ourselves, but it's a very different situation when you get on set and when you're in front of 20 to 100 people. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to tap into and block everything out and tap into that that idea of, of the character and what we're meant to do in that moment. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think that, that really, um, that's one of the defining things to be able to block everything out from the world and just focus on what you're meant to do uh, in that moment. Nice. Yeah. You know, you wore so many hats on this film. I'm curious, when you are this creatively invested in something, is it harder to sort of let it go out into the universe and relinquish control? Um, he, yes, it, it is. And it wasn't. I was so excited for, and I'm so still excited for everyone to see it. Um, there, there is, we, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves for sure. Um, and I say we, because I, I had a writing partner, Sonny Vatch, who wrote this with me as well, but um, it, it is, and it's intimidating and, and scary. Um, but at a certain, I, I've got to a point in my life at a certain time, I'm kind of ready to allow things out into the world. Mm -hmm. Do I, would I like to keep tweaking it and making it better and better? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But at some point I have to kind of, be happy with with the work that we've done and let it go out mm -hmm. well in that regard then is are, are there moments where you know writer matthew and producer matthew and actor matthew are butting heads over what one of you wants and what can actually be achieved on set and shooting something like this when we're on set i'm entirely just actor matthew mm -hmm. and i have a team around me that gives me the freedom to do that because the first day of shooting i still had my kind of producer hat on and, and Sonny in particular was like, Matthew, let me take the reins on this and you concentrate on your acting. So that was very freeing in itself. Of course, it wasn't that easy. I, I still kind of slipped into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but writing, writing is kind of, um, I, I get called a writer all the time. Um, and it's something that I'm getting used to and I enjoy it. But I, I never really wanted to to be a writer. And I don't think it's, it's bad of me to say that because, um, kind of growing up, I, w I was very dyslexic. So mm -hmm. that was kind of a, that's a challenge. Even when I get scripts to read scripts, I, yeah. I take three times longer to read a script than anybody else. Um, but also the need to tell stories in, in a way that hasn't been told before. I think that fuels my writing. Mm. So, yeah. Well, and, and, you know, that sort of leads to me to another question I had, which was, would this film or could this film have been made mm -hmm. even 10 years ago where, where the industry is now? You know, is this something that if you were not spearheading it as as a production for your production company, could it have been made? That's a good question. And and I don't know if it could have been made in the way it's been made. We're, we're trying to push a lot of boundaries in terms of um, what what films can do and the stories that we can tell. There's a lot of um, subtleties in it. We, we talk a lot about diversity, about um, some very progressive things that I adore and love. And that's part of the production company that I formed. Mm -hmm. Purpose so is to kind of purposefully create these narratives where we can maybe push some social ideas um, in a cinematic way. So it's not kind of seen as um, a PDA, but mm -hmm. it's something that you really want to watch and you enjoy watching. Um, yeah. Does that also sort of help you as an actor control your own destiny? Now you're able to play parts that, you know, might not have been offered to you because they weren't being created almost. Right. Yeah. This was, um, this has been an absolute dream for me as an actor and, and a creator, but 
the the acting the level of depth i can go to it and go to it because i wrote it and know these characters mm -hmm. so well there was a moment actually when we we're sat in the therapist room and we had that written entirely on on the script but when we kind of got to the day a lot of that was actually improv mm -hmm. um, and the director and did this beautiful thing where she actually asked me the questions and then we we dubbed it over with benjamin and brought benjamin in after that but it was really this natural conversation between a, a director and different characters that we chose to talk about so mm. it was this really interesting technique and i, I think it worked well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well and it must be so interesting because you were involved in writing the script that you are connected to this character long before you step on set so you must know him in a way that you wouldn't have <laughs> otherwise that's true. I do. But uh, two weeks before we started shooting, I kind of had this little, I wouldn't say breakdown, but I was like, oh my God, I don't know this character well enough. I'm like the actor that would like to spend a year, two years, like mm -hmm. studying and honing and, and figuring out this, the, this, the craft. But um, I had a year and I still didn't think it was good enough <laughs> for me to play the character. Uh, I finally settled into it and, and it was great, but um, yeah, this character is phenomenal. It's such a dream to play, and and we're definitely going to expand the world around him. Nice. You know, yeah. uh, you studied business in school. I'm curious, as somebody who is now working on the producing side of things, but also managing his own career as an actor, how much has that helped you in this industry, which is, you know, ever changing now so more than ever? Right, massively, it has, and. Um, I shied away from it a lot. I, I, I studied enterprise development at university. Um, I graduated and have a degree in that. But I, I, I kind of hit it. I was like, cool, I'm going to be an actor. This is all I'm going to do. Um, but the freedom that I, I have kind of now is that I, I studied business and know business pretty well mm -hmm. uh, in how to, how to do it. So I kind of, I feel like I have a good amount of best of both worlds. Like I know how to do the creative stuff, but I also know kind of how to get it done. I, I hope I do. I think I do. <laughs> but, yeah. But that must give you a leg up on a lot of actors in terms of even just for your own career, maybe not even from a producing side, but just navigating your own career and understanding that, yes, it is a business and I have to look at each, you know, each project I'm doing as an extension of that business. It's fascinating. And, and I, I love it. I definitely feel um, privileged and humbled to be able to be in the position that I am. Um, but it's also working. It's a work in progress. Um, mm -hmm. A lot that I want to do um, still. So um, yeah, we're getting there slowly. But well, well, Speaking of the lot that you want to do, you're also a musician. You wrote a song for, you know, this film. Yeah. Does that scratch a different part of your creative brain than acting doesn't? Um, what a good question. Um, it, it, I, I don't want to seem too hairy fairy about this, but it all comes under the umbrella of creativity. And I'm saying, and I'm laughing, but um, it really does. When you act, you have to tap into so many different um, uh, emotions and ideas, and you're very different to who you are in real life, which I love and adore. Um, but songwriting, um, it's not that different to writing a script or acting in a certain way or doing a dialect in a certain way. There's certain rhythms that you do. So when I talk British, it's very staccato and very at the forward of the mouth. But when I talk American, it's very rounded at the back. And I'm, I'm a person that studies accents like at least an hour every day. So, um, so music, it has a musicality and in it, that actually, that song, I wrote it the chorus about a year ago and then um john altham jumped on top of it um co-wrote it with me and pia toscano um co-wrote it and took it to a, a new level and and i adore the song and it's doing pretty well right now we just want a hmma which is the first time in the history that it's um that a, a song from a short film has been nominated and won for that That's so awesome. yeah yeah. And that's what's so cool is you're creating, you, you created this one entity, this film, but there's so many different layers of your creative involvement that it must just feel like such an achievement on multiple levels, really. Yeah, thank you. It's it's really a dream come true. I'm, I'm I, I kind of, yeah, my paintings are in it. My writing's in it. Um, I'm 
feel very fortunate, that's for sure. Well, yeah. finally, finally, Matthew, would 10 year old Matthew be surprised by your sort of creative journey thus far in the arts? Would he, would he you know, <laughs> would he be throwing up a high five? He would be throwing up a high five. He'd be very happy with where I am right now. I uh, am very proud of myself and I should take that in more. I don't give myself enough time to, to kind of be happy and enjoy where I'm at. So thank you for saying that. Um, yeah, he would be, he'd be ecstatic, I think. Awesome. Well, what's yeah. the best way for people to connect with the film and sort of, you know, go along with the journey of the, the song, the film, all of it? Yeah, the song's out publicly. It's out on all platforms. Um, the film, it's the great artist film on Instagram, or you can follow my Instagram, Matthew Postlethwaite. Um, we'll be doing screenings. Um, we'll be doing um, a bunch more festivals coming up. Um, so yeah, follow the great artist film at Instagram and, and keep up with it. Awesome. Matthew, thank you so much for being here and giving us some of your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jason, for having thank me. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew.